This is the SIM 800L GSM module. It is the 2 GHz cord band module which supports SIM card which is micro SIM type. And this is the SIM card which is used in this. It is a 4G SIM card but it also pretty much works with the 2G module. So I'll just insert the SIM card into the tray and there's a satisfying click sound and you have to solder these all the header pins I have soldered this and you also have to solder this antenna this golden copper wire right here and there comes the LED this is the most important part of this whole module and it lets you know the state of this module by blinking now let's start wiring so here is the breadboard which I am going to use in this project this is the Arduino Nano if you do want to know more about it click on the i button which is there above and let's just fix the Arduino Nano in there also let's fix the GSM module perfectly well this is the 4007 general purpose driver which we need to fix on the VCC and the 5 volt of the Arduino then we need a 1000 microfarad 16 volt capacitor with the positive terminal to the VCC and the negative to the ground. Let's fix it and let's take some jumper cables to fix them. Connect one jumper cable to the ground pin of the Arduino Nano and the another two pins to the D5 and D6 of the Arduino. Now connect the ground to the ground of the GSM module. Also the 5 and 6 pins to the RXT and TXT respectively. And that's pretty much how the connection is. That's simple, right? So now let's connect the USB port of the Nano to your PC or your laptop. Now open the file which is available in the description below, download it and then open it. It's an Arduino file. And in this you have to change two things. The first is the SIM number and the second which is your mobile number with your country code. Your country code might be different than my. So be sure to check it before running the program. Now select the appropriate port in which your Arduino is present and then click on upload. Now once your program has been uploaded, it will take a certain amount of time to initialize and then once it is initialized, you start getting up some text onto your screen, onto the terminal screen. Now just press S to send an SMS or R to receive an SMS or C to call. Now one thing to remember is when you type out S you need to have this CMGS message and this specific text when you type out the letter C in order to call. Now that's all for this video guys hope you like it hit the like button if you like the video subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more.